What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you guys today's video talking about something I've really been liking lately as a technique, especially on queen charges, when you're using the wall wrecker or even the stone slammer, putting ice golems inside of it. That's something that I think is underused and oftentimes people bring Valks or something else and it really doesn't work out as well as if uh, ice golems had been used. And a big reason why is defensively, if people have ice golems in their own CC, your wall record comes out, the Valks will target those ice golems, they'll freeze, and they'll die and get no value. Whereas having the friendly ice golems in here, uh, you'll see here, this will be some great value because there's a freeze on the town hall from these ice golems. Um, so as you can see, moving in here, the first one uh, freezes. Then, as the queen steps up and targets the town hall right here, the ice golem is going to come back because it recognizes it as a defense, and right here freezes, takes a lot of that heavy damage off the queen uh, for about four or five seconds there, really giving her a chance to target it again and get taken out with only having to use that one rage right there. Um, so great value. King on the other side, miners coming in. This is. Uh, these all attacks are all coming from the buy forever versus one hive genesis war good war to uh buy forever they just were a lot more prepared a lot stronger this week and it showed but um yeah we i mean people have hedged their bets against us this season but i think we're still in a pretty good position to kind of get get in the feel of things uh, regroup and come back stronger next week. There's some changes we're going to make and I think that that should help. Um, so anyway, everything moving through here. Go ahead and fast forward. Uh, right there uses the Warden's ability. I like the use of the Warden when the Miners are in the Rage. That's when they're moving the fastest so you get the most value, the most coverage. Uh, I guess is a way to think of it by using the, the Warden when they're Raged. And then the Queen will come through along with the leftover Miners. Finish off the base here, good attack to them. They got several 12v12s. That was one of the main things that uh, determined this war. Uh, anyway, let's move on to the next one, number 13. And part of the reason why, because this can work at Town Hall 10, 11, or 12, but part of the reason why these replays are, are focused at Town Hall 11 and Town Hall 12 is because it works better at the top levels. Reason being, um, when it comes to having max troops in your clan castle, which you almost always can, uh, assuming you're in a decent clan, then uh, at Town Hall 10, the max level troops are a lot better relative to the defensive power, so it makes more sense to bring a damage dealing troop like a Valk, whereas the Ice Golem uh, really has the same effect on Town Hall 10 as it does Town Hall 12. Uh, it has that freeze, which um, doesn't really uh, change uh, as opposed to something that deals damage where it's a lot more damage relative to uh, the defensive level and more hit points relative to the defensive level. The hit points of the Ice Golem doesn't matter much. It's mainly that freeze effect. That's why you use it. This was my attack right here. Um, and you can see the Ice Golems come in, getting a freeze on the Eagle, the Queen, just a ton of value right there. And really there's no additional damage needed uh, to assist the queen. She can do it all on her own as she steps in here. So uh, I guess what I was saying there is um, Town Hall 11, Town Hall 12 especially, you're better off getting that freeze value than having like Valks or something that's just going to die. Now people sometimes use balloons in their uh, wall wrecker. And I think that's also a little bit underused too. Sometimes people use a P.E.K.K.A. We'll actually take a look at an example of that um, as kind of a bonus attack in this video. But um, I, one of the main points is don't always bring Valks um, or even any kind of ground troop because if they meet the CC and the CC is an Ice Golem, uh, they're just going to target the Ice Golem, they're going to die to it, and then while they're frozen they're going to get destroyed by all the damage around them. So you're better off bringing something else to kind of get some value, whether it's Balloons or once again here we have the Ice Golem uh, getting some good value. Okay, so we will fast forward. Uh, things move around as they often do towards the outside of the base at the end of these types of attacks and get the three star. Uh, nice hit to myself. Let's move on to take a look at two more replays. Um, I want to show one that did use Valks and talk about, it was a triple, but talk about kind of the difference here. 
because it kind of illustrates why you might want to use the ice golems instead. Um, so we will fast forward, uh, we'll go times two here. Queen charge, pretty typical standard stuff. Uh, queen stepping up will get a uh, pretty good value initially and then we'll come in with the wall record push towards that multi-inferno on the bottom there. We'll go times one here. Okay, so uh, good setup for the queen charge here. Moving in, uh, the CC is gonna come out in just a moment. It was really uh, fortunate how that wall record passed between the inferno and the uh, uh, gold storage. That's really something you can't quite predict just because the wall record doesn't always move in a completely straight line, but that was very fortunate how that worked out. So it will open up that next wall. And then right here, those Valks come out they really just die immediately. Um, they do not get any value. They don't even kill the Ice Golem, actually. So that's where I think um, would have saved the use of a Rage and uh, would have gotten much more value if there were Ice Golems in there. Because they would have froze Expos, Queen, um, and really what would have happened is they would have frozen the Ice Golem in the CC, and when the Queen stepped up, she probably could have taken it out while it was still frozen, which would have meant that it would not freeze her because she'd be far enough away. Um, now that, that will probably be changing once the update comes out. We saw some of the Ice Golem footage before uh, with how big the freeze radius is getting. Although defensively, um, things are a little bit different. So it, it, we'd have to see. But um, And I think people will use Ice Golems less uh, post-update. But let's not get too post update here because um, we're still pre-update. And I think this is uh, this, a lot of this will still apply after the update. So... Queen gets the eagle, her healers are switched off, so she will, I think, go down here. Um, but the miners move through and secure the triple with level 17 warden. Uh, how about that? I uh, use the warden's ability right there and finishes off the last few buildings for the three star. One more attack to take a look at. This is the bonus attack, if you will. Um, number 16 here. This one I really liked, and it's not Ice Golems, it's a P.E.K.K.A. In the, uh, Wall Wreck, or sorry, in the Stone Slammer, and also a P.E.K.K.A. for funneling. We've been seeing a lot of P.E.K.K.A.s lately. Personally, I'm more of a fan of an E-Drag when it comes to funneling. Uh, in this case, I guess there is kind of an air defense looming nearby. Plus the buildings are a little bit spread out here, uh, towards those outer layers. So I guess P.E.K.K.A. is a good choice. Um, it will take out a lot of these external defenses and also tank uh, for the queen initially and a wizard behind is always a good way to complement that. Uh, but anyway, the stone slammer comes in opening things up for the queen charge and it'll drop out in just a sec and we'll see a valve which I like to kind of take out any local splash or anything like that because um, oftentimes there's a bunch of skeleton traps or some CC stuff. So uh, the P.E.K.K.A, uh, or the Valk gets all of that taken out. The P.E.K.K.A still alive, and look at this, the healers are gonna switch onto the P.E.K.K.A, which was really interesting, but it actually works out in his favor here, um, because if you didn't know, there's a reduced healing effect on heroes. The healers are much uh, more effective when they heal a regular troop instead of a hero. So basically, the, the P.E.K.K.A's doing all the tanking, and the Queen's getting this free buildings here. It's gonna go all the way up, um, pretty much going entirely through this base here. Now the healers are getting like a uh, splash heal on both those uh, troops, the queen and the P.E.K.K.A. They will switch off here as you can see, um, but it still has the queen's ability. The P.E.K.K.A. gets through the wall. It's gonna go all the way to that expo. Um, so this is just insane value from that P.E.K.K.A. A little bit lucky, I guess, that the healer switch, but, um, and sometimes that can work against you. But in this case, it definitely works in his favor. And I think the P.E.K.K.A. Uh, can get some good value because uh, when it comes to like Valks or something, uh, not to just, you know, hate on Valks too much in this video, but they come out, they might run in every direction and just get destroyed as they get too far out in front. The P.E.K.K.A is a little more conservative and it does more damage um, if it can just focus on one building at a time. That's why the P.E.K.K.A Valk is a good combo because the Valk clears stuff out, like I said. Ske uh, skeletons, small buildings, stuff like that, allowing the P.E.K.K.A to focus on gaining like the big hits on Expos and other important buildings. Um, so it's all the way back up to full health at the end of this attack, so good value, and that will pretty much wrap it up for today's video. So yeah, guys, in summary, you want to use those Ice Golems, uh, especially Town Hall 11 and Town Hall 12. Look for places where there's not a whole lot of value for damage-dealing troops. Maybe there's just too much local point defense and overall DPS in the area that will take things out too fast. 
um, or maybe uh, there's going to be a CC encounter right as it comes out, in which case Valks would just destroy the Ice Golem most likely. Balloons are a good play sometimes, so is the P.E.K.K.A., so really think things through uh, as to what you put in your Wall Wrecker and or Stone Slammer. Alright, that will do it, and I will see you guys next time. Bisectatron out.